Everybody, welcome back to the brand new video. Today we have a subscription box for you. It's the pen box for the month of August. We've already done the boom boxes for August. Now it's time to do the pen box. Typically we have usually about four subscription boxes that we feature on the channel here. Try to spread them out a little bit so they're not on the first week of the month. So let's go ahead and start the pen box right now. Hope everyone's having a very pleasant Sunday. Just as a reminder, no auction tonight. We do these live auctions, typically Sundays and Thursdays. No auction tonight. Can't fit into my schedule. We'll be back on Thursday live with an auction. Also, a throwback Thursday of potentially 1977 tops if that sold out. Also, I'd like to remind you before I rip into this, we're giving away the bat down Acuna for our August giveaway. All you have to do is be subscribed to the channel and hit that bell. Tap the notification bell and click it to all and try to get the first comment on this video and, and any video that I post during the month of August. We'll take all the first commenters, put their names in a hat and choose one of them to get that card at the end of the month. So let's go ahead and see what we have in the pen box this month. You can also let me know what you think of the pen box this month. Give us a review and let's go ahead and see what we've got going on here for the month of August. This is a $90 box, roughly 90 bucks. So we have uh, a 2022 Bowman Hobby Pack. We've got a Hobby Pack of Series 2. We've got a 2021 Topps Chrome Hobby Pack. Actually, that's a 2020. This is the 2021. We have Platinum Anniversary Hobby Pack from 2021 to 2020 Heritage High Number 2021. Heritage pack and a 2022 pack of Heritage. There's also a variety pack there and a thank you pack as well to go through. So we'll go ahead and uh, I guess we'll just arrange these by year. We've got three 2022s, three 2021s, and two 2020 packs. And here's just the, uh, the sell sheet here that tells you a little bit more about the pen box. Um, here's the packs that they have this month pull one of those custom cards you win a bonus which is going to be an Aaron Judge hand numbered um, relic and uh, the hit packs that variety pack could have um, a hit card in there which will be defined as an auto a relic a vintage card from the 90s or earlier a low number card refractor short print variant parallel or a mic drop card so let's go ahead and we'll start off with 2021 I think out of the most uh, recent years 2021 might be you know, maybe one of the one of my least favorites. So we'll get it out of the way first. But you never know. Might find some great stuff in here that could be an autograph or something hiding. So we have Taylor Trammell leading things off and Andrew Benintendi second. Geraldo Perdomo is third. Chances of an autograph in this box are one in twenty-four. That's actually relic or autograph. And unfortunately, nothing there. Next, we'll move to the Platinum Anniversary. One in 24 is the odds of finding an autograph here. So there's one auto per 24-pack box. Had a nice auto last night in the Platinum Anniversary box. Had a Brooks Robinson out of 50 in our Saturday showdown. This pack, unfortunately, had nothing. And we'll do the 2021 Topps Chrome. One in 12 is the odds of this one. And that's actually going to be our best odds today. One in 12 with the Chrome packs. I think all the others are going to be... Um, 1 in 12 or 1 in 24. So there's Jacob deGrom. You got Tristan McKenzie, George Springer, and Joey Votto. Next, we'll move, um, hmm, I guess we'll move back to 2020. We'll do Heritage High Number first. Heritage High Number from 2020 and see what we've got in this pack. Basically, Luis Robert is the only notable rookie in this class. We'll see if we can hit a hit in here. There's Francisco Cervelli, who's now retired. Daniel Descalso, haven't heard of him either. Well, I've heard of him, but I haven't heard of him around anymore. Luis Terenz, Nico Horner rookie card, Cameron Mabin, Michael Franco, Manny Margot, and Shogo Akiyama. All right, so we are halfway through the packs. Got nothing to show for it yet. I'm going to try now the, uh, I feel like the Topps Chrome Pack. I might want to save that one for last and go for a Jordan Alvarez rookie card. So we'll go with the Heritage Pack from 2022 and see what we've got in here. So there's Steven Matz at the top. DJ Peters, Yusei Kikuchi, Zach Lothar, Spencer Walker. Top of the Orioles this year. Orioles are the surprise team of baseball this year, doing good things. We've got the 2022 pack next. Let's see what we've got in this one. There's Reese Hoskins, Yanni Hernandez, Guillermo Heredia, and uh, no relic or anything in here. 
And we have something upside down. It's a gold card. It's a Brad Keller gold card. That's our best card of the video so far. Probably worth, uh, you know, gold cards probably worth $1 to $2 in that uh, for a common. But um, we've got two packs left. Let's see if we can get something going here. We'll do our Bowman pack next from 2022 and see what we can do with this. There's a Spencer Torkelson on the back, Ronald Acuna Jr. on the front. Giancarlo Stanton is in there, Nolan Arenado. There's Belly Bombs, Yvonne Herrera. So, Dickensie Noel, we've got an Isaac Pacheco and a nice Atomic Torkelson. So that's probably the best card so far. The Atomics aren't numbered, but it's a parallel of one of the big guys. The Spencer Torkelson now, the best card. We'll put that right there. And here's our Chrome Pack from 2020. Let's see if this can save us and get us an autograph. We've got a Tony Gonsolin rookie card, which is a nice one. I like that one. He's having a great season. Scott Kingery. We've got a Ronald Acuna Jr. 1985 refractor and a Trent Grisham rookie card as well. Grisham's having a rough season, so I'll put the Gonsolin in the good pile. So a couple decent cards there. Unfortunately, no major hits to talk about. Let's see what we can find in here. These are always interesting. We have the pen pack. It's a variety pack here and the thank you pack. This will have one hit and three rookie cards. Remember that hit can be a, an autograph, a relic, a Mike Trout card, a card from the 90s or earlier, a numbered card, etc. Let's see what we've got. So the hit's going to be a Michael Kopech. It's a numbered. It's out of 199. 167 out of 199 Kopech is the hit right there. So that's not too shabby. And we have Garrett Crochet rookie card. We've got a Romy Gonzalez rookie card and a Joey Bart rookie card from Diamond Kings. Last but not least, we have a thank you pack from Dave. Thanks for throwing this in there, Dave. And there's a nice Robin Yow. Like the uh, like the old cards for sure. <clears throat> so let's see. We've got Gavin Sheets. That is going to be numbered out of 199. We did some Gypsy Queen last night in the Saturday Showdown, by the way, and it was amazing. Wasn't really expecting Gypsy Queen to deliver, but we had a Bobby Witt Jr. missing nameplate black variation autograph worth about $500. And we also had a Wander Franco uh, gem mini auto, redem both redemptions, both worth about 500 bucks, both within about a box of each other. It was pretty crazy. And we only opened, I think, like six boxes or something like that. There's Jazz Chisholm. That's a good one. We've got Adrian Gonzalez rookie card, and we've got Shane Boz, a green parallel numbered out of... 273. Looks like we may have some vintage cards here. I see a Robin Yount on the back, who's a Hall of Famer. That's a nice one. Manny Mota, JJ Blade, rated prospect card. He's a Pittsburgh area guy. We've got an autograph of Akil Morris from what's that, 2015 Bowman out of 250. Jim Rivera, 1958 Tops card. Getting a little old there. I like old stuff like that. 58 tops and a Robin Yount. 1979 tops to close out the box. So there you go. That's the pen box. You get about eight packs or so. And uh, you get that variety pack as well. So if you'd like to grab a pen box, you can check them out at thepenbox.com. Let me know in the comments what you thought of this month's box. And uh, we'll go and review and see who gets the first comment there. So thank you very much for watching. Tomorrow we'll have Mystery Box Monday. And then Tuesday, I'm thinking about maybe doing a silver pack video. I'm not sure yet. I've got a couple different ideas, and we got a new release coming up on Wednesday. Throwback Thursday, 1977 Tops Box at an auction. Face-off Friday coming up. We've got videos lined up for you every single day, so make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Have a great rest of your Sunday, and I will see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody.